My Neighbors and Their Simple Machines by Erin C. Graves and Heather Baker. Hi, my name is Amma and I live in an apartment building in the city. I love living in my building because I get to visit all my interested neighbors. Let's see what they're doing today. That's Mr. Salgado. He's here to clean the windows on the outside of our building. He uses a seat on a rope to reach them. Mr. Salgado uses a pulley to raise and lower his seat. This is a pulley. A pulley is a type of simple machine that uses a rope and a small wheel to help raise and lower things. The pulley helps Mr. Salgado move up and down the outside of the building. Pulling down on the rope makes it easier to lift something heavy. Sometimes pulleys have more than one wheel. The more wheels a pulley has, the easier it is to lift things. Hmm, I smell something good baking down the hall. Mrs. D'Angelo is baking fresh bread again. I stop by her apartment and she offers me a big slice. Yum! Mrs. Delgado uses a knife to slice the fresh bread that she baked. Wedge. A knife is a wedge, which is a type of simple machine that splits things apart. Wedges are shaped like triangles. Wedges can be big like an axe or they can be small like the tip of a nail. Teeth, door stops, and forks are also examples of wedges. My mom and I are visiting with our neighbor, Mrs. Howard, and her son, Tridell. Tridell and I want to play with his toy cars, but the wheel and axle is broken on one of them. A wheel and axle is a type of simple machine that helps move things like cars, wagons, and wheelbarrows. Wheel, axle. The axle goes through the middle of the wheel and the wheel and axle turn together to move things. A wheelbarrow has one wheel and axle, but a tractor trailer can have as many as nine axles and 18 wheels. Instead of playing with toy cars, Tridell and I decide to make paper snowflakes out of colorful paper. We first fold the paper and then cut out small shapes using scissors. Scissors are a type of lever, which is a simple machine. Lever. A lever is a rod or a bar that pivots at a point called the fulcrum. The fulcrum can be the middle of the lever or at the end of the lever. Scissors are made of two levers with a fulcrum that joins them together in the middle. Later on, I meet my friend Jack down at the playground behind our apartment building. My favorite thing at the playground is the seesaw. Jack loves it too. A lever. The ends of the seesaw move up and down because they are another type of lever, one that has a fulcrum in the middle. When the weight on both sides of the lever is the same, the lever stays level or is balanced. When more weight is put on one side, that side goes down and the other side goes up. A balanced scale is another example of this type of lever. On my way back inside, I meet Mrs. Jacqueline. She's moving into our building today. She has a lot of boxes to move. Mrs. Miss Jacqueline moves her boxes off of the moving truck by walking them down the ramp. If she couldn't use the ramp to unload her boxes, she would have to climb in and out of the truck with every box. That would take a long time. This is an inclined plane. A ramp is a, is a type of a simple machine called an inclined plane. An inclined plane is a flat surface that's higher on one end. There are different types of inclined planes. 
ramps, ladders, and playground slides are all examples of inclined planes. Mr. Peron is the handyman in our building. He stops by to fix the knob on our door. I ask if I can help too. Mr. Peron uses a screwdriver to put a new doorknob on our door and uses screws to hold them in place. A screw is a type of simple machine that is used to hold things together. Screws have threads around them that keep them securely in place. The top of a screw is called the head. A screwdriver fits perfectly into the notch of the head of a screw so you can turn it and tighten it into place. Screw. That evening, I noticed that my light lamp needs a new light bulb so my dad and I can read my bedtime stories. I ask my dad to replace the light bulb for me. My dad takes out the old light bulb and screws, it, screws in a new one. Now we have enough light to read my bedtime stories. Screw. A light bulb has a screw on one end that holds it in place. Instead of using a screwdriver, this type of screw is screwed in by turning it with your hand. Bottle taps, jar lids, and toothpaste caps are examples of screws. It's fun to live in my building. I get to see my neighbors every day. They do lots of interesting things and sometimes I get to help. 